Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Yesterday, after giving it a wide berth for quite some time, we returned to the Valley of Repose with all colors of Pikmin this time, and cleared out the way to enter a cave, which today, I would like to do. This is one of the harder caves in the game, and the boss is one that I dreaded for a long time. But it's also one of the best caves, if I remember it correctly. It's one of the best ga caves in the game for growing numbers of white and purple Pikmin. Which, as I said yesterday, farming Pikmin is actually required for 100%. Farming purples is required for 100%. So, this cave has no water hazards at all. So I don't need blues at all. So all those times that I spent building their numbers to be the second highest population of Pikmin, uh, that's kind of a waste, at least for this one. But like I said, it's the best for farming. Uh, now let's go 30. Uh, let's, let's go 35, actually. 35. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go... I'm going to go uh, 30. Okay. And then I'll grab... No, not, not these. I need to grab... 10 or 15, uh, let's grab 15 whites, 20 whites, no 15, I'm going to go with my, my better judgment on this, 15 whites and the remainder yellows, now where are the three, they're there, okay are these all flowers, it looks like they are, alright, let's take them to the cave. That is going to be the first thing we're doing today, as opposed to previous days where I haven't... I, I've been waiting to enter the cave until the evening. I would like to get this one... get into this one in the morning. I think that'll... that'll work out. It'll be a nice change of pace, honestly. It's not... there's no real strategic value to that. At the end, I still... Well, actually, it's probably better to go in the evening, because otherwise you're kind of having to rubber band back and forth from the cave. So you can end the day by going into the cave. I guess that works. And strategically, that's better, but I'm not strategic. What are you talking about? I'm- I'm pal. I'm- I don't do strat- strategery. Also, the wind is still here, so... What I said yesterday about, uh, that being a design choice, it doesn't really ring true. It looks like it's just randomly windy, or slippery. It could be slippery as well. This may be- are these ice physics? Maybe these are the equivalent of ice physics for the game. Okay, well, while that is happening, there's actually a withered blowhog over here that I would like to... Actually, uh, there's him too. I'll take care of the blowhog first. And it looks like... Does he have... No, he does not have a treasure in him. Okay. Well, I can take care of him. There's no real benefit to it, but... I mean, he's dead. Okay, you can't hurt me. And then I'll take care of this bridge. Whoa! Okay. There are... There are, uh, pellet posies. Here, get on that. Get on that, purple. Okay. Are the whites done? Please tell me they are. Not even close. Alright, well, I guess I will start working on this guy. Uh, it's gonna be uh, kind of difficult. We'll take reds and yellows. Problem is with these boulders that they flatten Pikmin, so... It's really dangerous. Bring to the side. And... Get him! Come on! Kill him! Yes! He threw my Pikmin, but looks like I, I am none the worse for wear. That guy can be really dangerous. He can flatten entire platoons of Pikmin. Also, is this Peach's crown? I always thought it was as a child, but it, looking at it again, it really is Pe Peach's crown. We're not going to grab it right now. I mean, we're not going to take it back to base, but I will bring it down and then get it in a convenient spot. At least. Okay. And they're... They really want to help. Alrighty, what are you doing? Get over here. They're just standing there doing nothing. Okay, how's that coming? It's not coming at all. Well, actually, I guess I can bring this back. You know what? Let's actually bring it back and then go into the cave. And while I'm at it, since they're taking so long, I'll also get Pikmin on these posies as well. There's no real downside to not doing it, or to doing it. And then, Olimar, you go back to base. Uh, not with purples, though. 
Yeah, you go back to base with a red Pikmin, because I'm not sure if I can throw purples up that ledge. And that's my plan, so. Also, there is a... A fiery Bullblax over there, which is really hard to get to. So I'll have to be tackling that at some point. Meanwhile, I'll leave the rest of my Pikmin right here. Right there. And I'll go pick up the other Pikmin. Making good use of my time since the white Pikmin take forever. Taking down that gate. It's really unfortunate that they weren't able to actually... Like, you're not able to actually knock out the poison first and then set all the Pikmin on the gate, but eh, I guess we can't... Beggars can't be choosers. Also, the day's almost half over, so maybe I will be going into this cave in the evening. Okay, you guys carry that back. And we got Peach's Crown! Probably one of the most regal-looking treasures in the game, and the most valuable. Unspeakable wonder, and that it is. It's not worth that much, though. Once again, I need to be careful of my my total Poco count. Uh, numbers... Okay, this should be going to the yellows. Just have to make sure. Alright. We got everything back. Which means, actually, once I reemerge at the end of today, there won't be much to do. So, I'll have to find something to do. I, I definitely do not want to go into the other cave. That I haven't done two caves in one day yet. And honestly, we're kind of running out of time to do that, considering how many caves are left, but uh, it's, it's still not something I want to do, especially not that cave. I want to save that one for much later. All right. No, no, no. You need to go up. There, running throw. All right, whistle everyone. Where are the rest of them? Are they... Okay, they're next to the gate. All right. We'll do that, and Louie will automatically join us, and it looks like we're, we got some something done while waiting. But that is actually a strategy, that, that whole running toss thing that I just did. Uh, so if I throw a Pikmin while running, it lands right where my cursor is going to be when it lands. So if you can't actually run to a certain area, for example, uh, say I'm at a wall, what I can do is kind of cheat it, run at the wall, and throw it further than I could possibly do. It's an actual strategy, uh, and sometimes it can be used for great benefit, but also it can be used dangerously as well, because if I'm trying to attack an enemy next to, say, a ledge, and it, uh, and I do a running throw, I could actually throw Pikmin over the ledge. Interesting! My metal detectors are reacting violently! I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below, but that seems illogical. <sighs> and what's detecting there is the boss. Also, I do need nectar. Thank you for offering. No. Get back here. Get. No. Get. Yeah, of course, I, I dropped the ball on that. Well, I'll have to go get Tom. Stupid Tom. The wind pushed him off a ledge. Tom, get over here! And uh, the other Tom decided to join me, and the yellow Tom, and these Toms, they all decided, ah, oh, this is chaos. If you guys act this way in the cave, I will, I'll string you up, and like, you will, you'll, you'll be a hanging plant. <laughs> hey, they'll be a hanging plant, and that will be their punishment. Alright, the subterranean complex, like I said, one of the best caves to farm, but also a cave that I dreaded as a child. I guess I dreaded most of the caves, just not like <laughs> the whole of beasts or the emergence cave because that would be silly and I would be silly. Sub level one, subterranean complex. Let's do this. There's poison everywhere, which makes me glad that I took whites. Okay, there are a bunch of Dwarf snowy bulb orbs. But that is it. Okay. Also, I need to be careful of traps. I, I forgot. Okay, so let's let's go on a proofing run. Because I've been doing that recently. Proofing run! Where I run through the cave, set off any tra potential traps that there may be, and get a good scout out for how I'm going to be handling this. Is there a treasure in this room? There isn't. Then why does it exist? I've been having some pretty bad, uh, 
bad chance, bad luck with that recently. There have been so many rooms, not caves, not sublevels, but rooms in caves that have been completely empty and void of treasure. And that does not normally happen, both in the game and to me. Okay, these guys don't trigger when I'm near them. No, they don't. Okay. Man, there are a ton of enemies here. Won't be able to do that. Need to avoid these. These are uh, careening dirigi bugs, and they don't go for Pikmin, and I don't even think they pick up Pikmin. Actually, we've, we've encountered them before, right? I think we have. Uh, they don't actually even go after Pikmin. They go after captains, and so the captains can... If they pick up a captain, then all, all chaos breaks loose. It's like chaos theater up in here. Okay, purples are going to be the best strat strategy for killing these. Purples are so overpowered. I just leveled an army. An army of children, because these are technically children. No. Oh. Oh, Olimar, why are you over there? Why are you over there? Okay, you're good. You're good. Oh, you missed. He missed, he missed, he missed. Get over here, Louie. No, Louie. Okay, I need to go rescue Louie. Come on. I don't want Louie to die. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. These guys can be really annoying, especially in pairs. Get over here. Okay. Kill him. Nice. I need to juke really well. Uh, Olimar's gonna take a hit from this. Come on, Olimar. Come on, Olimar. Dodge. Get back at me. Come on, come on, come on. What do you got? What do you got? It's always beneficial to have Pikmin in the air when it di di tri when it tries to dive bomb a captain, because if they latch on, then the Dirigi bug has no po no choice but to be forced to the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this while we're at it. Hey, buddy, I'm really sorry to kill you. You've already you've always been one of my favorite enemies because it's furry. Uh, don't don't quote me on that. But it's, it's cute. It's all fuzzy, and it's, you know, it's, you know what, never mind. Uh, normally, I don't go there on my channel, but I did. To be fair, you guys would quote me out of context no matter what. Also, there's a buried treasure here. I'm so glad that White Pikmin will automatically detect if there's a, a buried treasure. It's, it's a good aspect of them, because normally, if I didn't have the treasure gauge... Which, why, do I, why don't I have the treasure gauge? But if I didn't, then I would just walk around and never see one of the treasures. Oh, hello. I had a feeling there'd be a trap in here. And we get a treasure. But I would just walk around and not find the treasure, But and the white Pikmin would see it, but they wouldn't try to get it. But white Pikmin, or Pikmin in general, are easy to please. Also, this is a... I actually have a phone that like this. And hopefully every one of my viewers knows what that is. Because if they, if you don't, I'm kind of sad. I, and I also feel old because I have one of those phones. But then again, I was also homeschooled, so I don't think I've ever mentioned that. But yeah, I was homeschooled all, all my life. And so I know what that is, and I have one. Okay, so you do that. And that should be all of the treasures in the floor. Also... It's another thing of tape. I'm surprised that one wasn't buried because we've already seen a, a buried roll of tape before. I mean, I'm not saying all buried, all tape needs to be buried. I'm not racist or tapist. That sounds weird. Exhausted super stick. And that's it. Which means that one of the rooms is completely void and pointless. <sighs> Pikmin, you're weird. You're a weird game. All right, break that. Nice. And let's go into the next floor. You see, what would have been cool was if this hole was on the stump in that other room. That way, while it's not, it doesn't have treasure in it, I still need to go there. But unfortunately, sometimes the RNG just makes it so rooms are completely useless. Which I guess, actually, on second thought, that stands up to life as well. Because not every room has meaning in life. Which is very profound. And this is a... Wow. Such a... This is such a big contrast from... From, uh... The last floor. We're just on this... We're on this area. That's so weird. I guess this... We're, we're down far enough that... No! No! I refuse! I refuse! Tom, you tried it again. I saw you. 
That's that's even meaner than the than the 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 mid-tight bomb rock combo. That's so dumb. What would have happened? In fact, you know what? Proofing the cave. In fact, uh, I was actually gonna take one white Pikmin. So thank you for reading my mind. But what would have happened there was that they would have started drinking the nectar, and then the bomb rock would have killed them with no possible counterplay. Oh man, that's kind of vexing. Is it old transistor? Is that not? It's not a transistor. Is it a transistor? Game is solely for. This game is solely for Nintendo GameCube. Well, I'm. I'm emulating this, so sorry. Alright, so these bomb rocks don't do anything, but I might as well. In fact, it's fun. I'm gonna set them off. Now, one thing that's interesting is in the. The versus mode of this game, which there is one, there's a two player versus mode, you can actually pick up those bomb rocks. Not as the Pikmin, but as the captains. They can pick them up and throw them around. Also, when I said that the, the enemy before was a creating dirigi bug, that was actually a mistake. I, I realized after seeing these that I what I was pointing out was a bumbling stitch bug, and these are the creating dirigi bugs. In fact, Future Pal, please do not correct me on that when I first mentioned it, because I'd rather my me correct it. Does that make sense, Future Pal? That's I think it does. Okay, so creating dirige bug. Are there any treasures in them? Are there any treasures at all? No. But there's a treasure here. Let's take all my white Pikmin. All of them. Not the captains. I don't want the captain. Is 15 or are 15 enough? Or it would be is 15. Is 15 enough? Because I don't want to kill these things. This is one of those enemies that is, like I said, is really nasty when combined with other enemies. And I dare say this is the worst one in the game. Ah, oh, bomb rock. It's the worst one in the game to be paired with other enemies, but it's also terrible when paired with itself. Because you try to defeat one, meanwhile, first of all, the bomb rock that it just threw when trying to attack you is now going off. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, don't, don't try me. Okay, carry this really quickly. There, they should be safe. But also with other creating dirigi bugs, the bomb rocks that they're throwing are, are going off. So you have to try and defeat the first one while avoiding the bomb rocks of the second or third ones. And it, ugh, it's not fun. So I'm just going to kind of play coward here and try to skirt them as best I can. I'll only fight them if I'm engaged upon, which I was not necessarily engaged upon there. Spirit Flogger. Okay. <laughs> Some of these names I don't understand. All right, let's take the rest of my group. Actually, no, no. This is the first cave that I'm going to be doing this, but I'm going. I I will do this. I don't need to take my entire group with me. I really don't. If I can get the treasures without, without fighting, then I will. I also want to try to keep sticking uh, stick to this closer camera angle. That uh, <laughs> bomb runs are so dumb. <laughs> They're so dumb. Okay, so I think I'm fine. I think I have all the treasures here. Really? If you- Don't throw them off the cliff! Don't throw them off the cliff! Oh, he might. Don't do it. Okay, he's fine. Eh, but he leafed the Pikmin. Eh. That's actually the first time that, uh, a, uh, snitch bug has actually done that, I think. We've always killed them before that happens. Ne network men- main- mainframe? Membrane? I didn't look. Okay, come on, white Pikmin! I'm sorry that your leaves. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't throw him off the cliff! Thank you. Alright. Let's avoid him. Juke him. Juking skills are very important in Pikmin. And now I can go into the cave. That is one thing I need to mention, and you guys have actually mentioned it in the comments before. But if there are Pikmin in the ground when I go into the next sub-level, they will not go with me. Can I have your clothes? <laughs> well, not your clothes. Obviously, I didn't mean your clothes. I meant, can I have clothes, period. Ooh, hell. <gasps> oh, that's... Oh, that's... That's Sheik's... That's Sheik's game. stuff. Come on. Cute little guy. Uh, the, if you 
freeze them with bitter, uh, ultra bitter spray. And there's so many bomb rocks. What is this? 